The moment I've been waiting for is finally here. Get it? Because it's the moment lens that... Anyway, we're talking about the moment anamorphic lens case and app today. Super stoked to talk about some gear. Let's get it. Hey, welcome once again. My name's Chris and I've committed this year to doing a daily vlog for every day through January. So this is day four now, and I'm super excited for what I have in store today. Like I was saying before, we're gonna review some gear, specifically today, the Moment 1.33 anamorphic lens. So I'm really excited to uh, go through some of this gear with you guys. I have been enjoying using it so far, but it's not without its quirks, so we'll talk about that. Sorry for the quick interruption from past, future, present me. This is in no way a sponsored video, I have not been paid to say anything about this. I, am in fact, uh, have no affiliation with any products at this point. This is purely my own opinion. I bought this, these products with my own money, and um, so I just wanted to be clear and upfront with that. This is my first review, and if this is something that is helpful for you guys, then um, please drop a comment, or if there's something else that you would like to see uh, me review, then uh, drop a comment, and uh, we can see what we can do about that. Anyway, back to your regularly scheduled me. The second piece of gear we're going to talk about today is the, the case that came. I got the, the wood back. I've been really happy with this, so we'll talk about that here in a little bit. And the third thing that we're going to discuss a little bit about is the app. Well, I have a couple things I have to take care of in town. We're going to head out and do some tests, grab some footage. I'll meet you back here. Oh, my wife is so much shorter than I am. There we go. One of the things, it's just silly and it is me specific, that I love about this moment case is it slots right into the little cubby in our Outback. It's perfect, I love it. First thing I noticed when I opened the box and took the lens out is it's kind of has some heft to it, which is usually a good sign of decent glass on a lens. The next thing I noticed, look at this tiny Allen wrench, so little. They provide that just so that you can orient the lens mount to whichever way your phone goes. In this case, my iPhone XS has vertical mount, so I needed to switch that. And on the side here, it shows that it's the 1.33 anamorphic but that, that's a really cool looking lens. It's a true anamorphic lens. It is hefty, like I said, so it uh, looks like high quality glass to me. I have been noticing, and I'll, I'll put some footage up here now, that uh, some of the footage from using the lens seems a little bit fuzzy, or, or I know it's gonna be distorted. It's an anamorphic lens, that's how that works, but it's not crispy. That's something that, that I look for obviously in a lens, most people do. And so that was a little bit of a disappointment to me. I don't know if I got an off kilter one. I have not contacted Moment about this yet. Yeah, I'm not really sure if that's uh, all of them or if it's just mine or if I'm doing something wrong. If somebody knows something about that, go ahead and comment and uh, I'd love to start a discussion about that below. And then just the last couple things I wanted to touch on really quickly here was the mount to the phone case feels very secure whether it's in the 1x or the 2x slot uh, but I am slightly concerned about the hole in the back of the lens and whether that'll let lint in so I guess time will tell. So the second piece of gear that uh, we're talking about today is the Moment Photo Case. This one's for the iPhone 10s. I got it in the, with the wood back because I like that look but I was afraid that it would potentially get scratched easily or dent and that hasn't been the case so far. I'm not super gentle with my phone, I use it. The other part though, uh, also does not really scratch or scuff that much, it's pretty resistant. I do like the drop resistance 
uh, on the corners and overall it just has good grip versus uh, you know the bare iPhone is has with the glass back is, is too slick and uh, I feel like I have good grip with this. A couple of the other great things about the case is plenty of room for third-party chargers and whatnot no sound distortion uh, in either the speaker or the microphone so far as i can tell and uh, the little loops here for sticking through uh, some sort of strap in my case i use the peak design anchor links uh, because i use those on my other cameras and so it's really handy to just have like one or two straps that i can swap back and forth the third thing i'm talking about today is actually the app for a moment and it gives you a lot more manual control the cameras in these phones uh, are mind-blowing, but uh, it's always good to have that creative control. Uh, I've, I've found actually probably the most useful thing in this app so far for me, other than the automatic de-squeeze for the anamorphic lens, is being able to adjust the white balance manually and not have it shift back and forth. We have some old-fashioned uh, Edison bulbs and they really freak out the iPhone's white balance for some reason. I have really enjoyed using the app for that creative control and there's a lot of different things that you can do in it. I'll show a few screen caps but really you just have to go to Moments website and see all that it can do. I'm not going to bore you with that right now because there's actually quite a lot. There are a few quirks that uh, bugs that I hope that are worked out soon. I haven't seen an update lately for it but I would hope that they could just spend just a little more time in um, making sure that it's stable. Um, one of the weird things that I noticed actually just today that I've never noticed before is I was shooting in 4K through the Moment app with the anamorphic lens on and there were a few parts I think you can probably see here where where the I believe it was probably the picture profile I had it set to flat but it looked like it kept wanting to go back to a recorded color it was just this blip every once in a while and I was going to use this as a time lapse but with that blip, it was just super jarring. It looked like, you know, blinking or something. And so that is a little disappointing. Um, if anybody for a moment is watching this, uh, I would love a comment. I would love to talk to you about some of the, the little quirks that I've had. Overall, great products. I'm really excited to get out there and use these more and really get some of that cinematic flair and, and the wide, wide screen, the 1.33. I'm looking to pump out some more of these reviews here soon and go through some of the gear that I use and why I use it, why I selected that. So if you guys have suggestions of anything, leave a comment. If this has been helpful to you. You know, check out some of my other videos if you're kind of just feeling down or, or looking for some motivation. Beyond that, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you next time once again.